Hello there guys, my name is Financial, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on this uh, CC Chrome effect or something, I don't know what to call it. I'm going to probably call it a Rainbow Warp Ghost or some, 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 something like that. But one of my subs asked me how to do this effect, and uh, it's by Angel, and Angel is a pretty popular editor nowadays. But um, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So in the download link in the description, I'm going to have this .rar file, and in the, in the folder, all it is is um, the installer and the fix. Don't worry about anything else. So run the installer and run the fix. And uh, I don't know why there's two copies. Actually, run this one. That one, it's I don't know why. It, I don't know why there's two copies. This shouldn't be when you install it. Well, when you download it, sorry. So run the installer first, run as administrator, and then run the fix afterwards, run as administrator, and then you're good to go. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have a cinematic, just make a new composition, go to where I want the effect, I want to apply the effect. I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'll do it right here. Duplicate the layer, I'm going to trim it up. Trim it up, if it allows me. Oopsies. My After Effects sometimes doesn't allow me to trim layers. I don't know why. Okay, so now on this layer, I'm going to go to Effects and Presets and type in Twixter. Without the arrow, just Twixter. Okay, apparently I can't spell. There we go, Twixter Pro. Uh, go back a frame, keyframe the speed at 100, and then keyframe it at 10. And my clip is 30 FPS somehow. I, I must have messed up the render when I did in, in uh, Sony Vegas. So I'm just gonna key, uh, do it at 30 FPS. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to pre-compose this, uh, this cinematic, and I'm gonna call this Dying Dude. And I'm just gonna trim it up. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna need to trim it up as well. Okay, I think we're good for now. Hit shift one on your keyboard to uh, make a marker to show you where you wanna start the effect. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put this on full resolution. I'm gonna mask up the dude, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'm back. I just did a really crappy mask job on it because uh, I don't really care because, you know, it's just a mask and it's a tutorial, so I'm not actually uploading the edit, so it doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to apply a CC toner, as Ainsel did in his breakdown, if you guys watched it. I'm just, like, doing a further more breakdown. I'm going to make the midtones to a nice gray. I'm going to put the percentage to 43. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a real smart motion blur. RCMB, just put it on, and now he's kind of, uh, kind of like blurred a bit, which is cool. Then, last of all, I'm gonna add a fast blur, and I'm gonna put the motion blur underneath it so it applies everything, and I'll set this to three, and repeat edge pixels, tick that, and then for the dying dude, so I have the mask on this one. I'm gonna Control C. Oh, first of all, I'm gonna keyframe the mask every, t and then every ten frames. So you'll hold control shift uh, right arrow key every 10 frames we're going to edit it but I'm not going to do that right now because um, I'm sure you guys know how to edit a mask yourselves so once you have your whole mask finished and edited what you're going to do is go go on the mask control C apply it to the dying dude actually first of all go control Z you're going to duplicate the dying dude okay and then apply it on this one control V so we don't have a mask on this one, but we have a mask on this one. Okay, that's good. So then what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Dying Dude over top of the adjustment layer. I'm going on to the Dying Dude. I'm going to go to Effect. And then I'm going to go to Sapphire Distort. Go to uh, Warp Chroma. Here we go. Then I'm going to make that... What you can do is you can keyframe this at 1. And then go over like 30 frames and put it to 0.6, which is the best value I find. Make the steps 43, because that's an awesome number. Okay, and this is where uh, you choose what you want. This little center X, Y thing. It goes the, whoopsie. It goes the opposite direction of where it is. So if I put it here, go that way. So I'm gonna put it there, because that looks cool. Okay, so we're almost done. Then you can play with the shift X and all that stuff, but I don't want to do that. So you can change the colors as well if you want, which could make, could make for some pretty, pretty sweet effect. Then blur matte, I use two, just so it blurs it a tiny bit. And then you could just close it up, 
what you can do is add a fast blur to this, make it to three pixels, and repeat edge pixels, and you can always keyframe it and everything. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. So you can keyframe uh, the F from Z distance. Sorry, I don't know. I messed that up. And you can keyframe the steps as well, so it gets even more blurry. Uh, sorry, more feathered. So if you look at it here, if you look at a hundred, and then if you look at like eight, you can tell there's a big difference. This one just looks like a duplicated person a bunch of times, and at a hundred, it looks like it's just a light ray coming from the dude. So yeah, it's totally up to you guys what you want to do. And yeah, so that's about it for the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Down the link in the description, and I will see you guys later with another After Effects tutorial. See you guys, and goodbye for now.